Alright, how's it going everyone? Um, I'm here with another tutorial based on a few requests that I've gotten and uh, it's for how music hacking Mario Kart Wii through Revolution. Since I've already covered m texture hacking and custom courses with Revolution, I thought I'd cover my bases and uh, get this done as well. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, you use uses uh, Revolution as you, if you haven't, if you don't know, uh, uses a Mario Kart Wii retail disc and just places in files for the session, so it replaces music files and whatnot. Um, so you'll need that in your retail disc. Then you need Revolution with the My Stuff folder, which I didn't cover in the other tutorials. And the My Stuff folder is where the music goes. And um, and there's download the download links are in the description for people with the without the homebrew channel with the homebrew channel uh with version 3.1 to f 4 and 4 and up 4.1 and up um and then you need a decent audio editor for your um to edit the audio file for increases in volume and whatnot and then the BCSM GUI which will help you convert the file to BRSTM um, and of course you'll need the original file names that are in the ISO of your Mario Kart Wii game, which I have a video on, I will do a video response to. It has all the names and what course they are, and you just need the exact name. So let's jump right in here and start. Uh, okay, so you need, this is the SD card. And if you, if you, when you download one of the packs in the down, in the description, You'll have these folders. You just drag this revolution into the apps folder. Drag the MKOE folder into the root of the SD card. And I've already done this, so I don't need to do that. And then drag this revolution into the root of the SD card as well. Right uh, in here. And once you've done that, we're going to be going to the MKOE folder. This is the folder we're going to be focusing on. And it has every course um, named, and I have some custom courses in here, so you can go Desert Course, and then see at GBA Rainbow Road, and whatnot. Um, then there's this My Stuff folder, and this is what you're going to need for your music. So if we go in here, for instance, you can see that I put in music files for the final and normal app, so... How did I get to this point? Well, let's take a look. Um, so, you're going to need now your uh, choose a song and then open it with your preferred audio editor. As I said before, um, Audacity is a good free one. I'm using Neural Wave Editor 4. There might be even new version out by now, but. Um, and then I'm going to choose a song here, and here it is. So what I would do first is save an alternate copy for the, the hacking. Um, so I'll go and do that. All right. Now the first thing we need to do in actually editing the file is increasing the volume so we can actually hear the song in the game. You want to do that to the whole song, and mine is effects and loudness, which gives it more decibels. And I said before that 7 to 10 is just about right, anywhere in there, depending on how uh, the volume is in the original audio, um, will suffice usually. So I'm going to go ahead and resave that. Also, concerning that we need to, to watch the uh, size of the file. Um, Let's go in here and uh, all right. So this is gonna replace Move View Highway, for instance. Um, and what I do is do a save as, and I use this MP3 Pro codec, which allows me to change the bit rate to my liking. And I just keep lowering this bitrate, which lowers the quality of the audio, till the file size is below or smaller than the original size of the file. Of the original file, that is. 
So I'm just going to put it here and then just resave it. And we can see that it sounds about right. And now if you were doing final lap versions, you would come in and uh and you can do I believe it's time correction and I you can put it more decibels or do a percentage some amount of percentage more. I would think 10 to 15% more in, of a speed increase would make it sound like final lap quality. So okay, once we've done that, now we have our MP3 file here and we want to come up in here in this file size. So this is 3.17 or yes, 3.79 meg. And right now our MP3 is 421k, but we need to use our BR, BCSM GUI to convert the file. So I have uh, the I have it up here, and uh, you just hit Add, drag the file on, and it will do that. Uh, I'm going to rename it first. So click Add drag your file on and if it's a thing where you need it to loop make sure loops checked if not in some like finishing fanfares and whatnot you don't need it to loop you just need to play it once you can uncheck that but all of the tracks you'll want to loop of course so it's encoding and boom Here's your option one file, 1.27 meg, under the 3.79 meg. So now you're going to copy the file name, excluding the BR, dot .brstm, onto, into this new file. And uh, I'm going to, I already have it, so I'm going to copy it over here. Paste the name in, or just type it in, as exactly as it is in the ISO. Then come over here and drag this file into the My Stuff folder. And if and it'll just paste in. Mine already exists, so it's asking me, but you'll just pay, drop it in here, and that will be it on this computer side. So now let's jump over to the Wii real quick and uh, see how to just load. I'll just load the revolution and uh, show you how to get to it. All right, we are back. Now, on your Wii, you can just, if you're doing this for the first time, you can just come over here, and uh, if I could find my cursor, um, you can just, if you're on 4.1 or newer, um, you have an SD icon, just click it, and it should prompt you for the, uh, it should prompt you to load a boot.dole, if so, just click yes, and I'll move on from there, but if you're on below 4.1, you just hit uh, the Wii button, then go into Data Management, Channels, SD Card, and I've got now I'm going to insert my SD card. All right, and it will prompt load the boot.dole. Yes. And here's Revolution. There might be a newer version out, but this is what I have and it works fine. So once it just make sure you have your Mario Kart Wii retail disc in at this point and it so it can detect it. And then yeah, so there's no music settings, they just assume you just I have to make sure this feature, the My Stuff folder, make sure it's enabled. And that's all you need.
All right, we'll just go ahead and test it real quick. And uh, do a time trial. And we can see that So I hope this I hope this helped everyone out. Um, I might be doing some more of these sooner or later. So and there we go, custom music. Didn't have to touch the ISO. So I hope this helps you out, as I said. And if there are any questions, leave a comment, post in the comment, and we'll get them answered hopefully. Um, so yes, that concludes this tutorial. See you later, guys.